What's up everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. Welcome to another day and another video review. Today we're gonna to be talking about a fragrance design house that isn't necessarily known for blowing the doors off the fragrance genre with some brand new and wonderful iconic fragrance. Back in 2018, Kenneth Cole had three babies. Their names were Serenity, Intensity, and Energy. Sounds like somebody grabbed a new age baby name book. What about the fragrances themselves? Well, today we're gonna to take a closer look at these three releases from 2018. See if there's something that might be worth your attention. Is is there a hidden gem among them or are all three worth picking up we're going to take a look at that when we come back that and more so stay tuned So in 2018, Kenneth Cole released three fragrances. They were Energy, Serenity, and Intensity. I think they were all born at the same time, basically as they were released at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them in kind of the timeline that I think makes logical sense. So the very first one we're gonna take a look at today is Energy. Now all three fragrances are exactly the same in presentation, so we're only gonna look at one of them kind of close up to the camera, give you an idea of what it looks like. And then if there are differences in the other two, I'll show you those, but we won't go over the same thing to kind of save you some time there. So before we talk about what it smells like, what the formula is like, let's take a closer look at that presentation. Contrary to the name, quiet, reserved, waste not, want not, those are all ideas that I'm getting from actual the, the presentation itself. It's not like something that kind of vibes energy to me. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. I really like the idea of the canister. Uh, of course, Jean-Paul Gaultier and others have used something similar, but instead of metal, this of course is cardboard and it's all black. The color corresponds, I think, with the actual juice itself. This is a kind of a light tan color. And then, of course, Kenneth Cole Energy is in black. And then you've got Eau de Toilette at the bottom. So it's an Eau de Toilette concentration. All three of them are. And 3.4 fluid ounces or 100 mil. On the bottom, you've got the UPC sticker designations and ingredients. And on the very back, you've got your distribution information. If you've seen Kenneth Cole for him, exact same presentation. Basically what's really nice about this is that all the lines are very clean, everything is circular. If you look at it straight on, it almost looks like the cap is square. And in a lot of photos, it kind of tricks your eyes and looks like it's a square cap, but it is actually circular, just like the bottle and everything else. The very bottom is a nod to a DSLR camera. It's like the lens of a DSLR camera. That's been done before, of course, with Mont Blanc Explore, other releases. And while being simple, they managed to look really nice and elegant and masculine. All three fragrances are unisex. But what about that fragrance formula? Let's talk about the note breakdown. Kenneth Cole Energy features top notes of Neroli, Orange Blossom, and Magnolia, with heart notes of Tuberose Absolute and Night Blooming Jasmine, resting on a base of vetiver, sandalwood, and musk. You've got Magnolia, Neroli, and Orange Blossom. So while not being heavily flower-centered, uh, there's a very floral opening. Then it moves into a night blooming jasmine with tuberose absolute. So it's going to be extremely floral with a little bit of earthy overtone. Then you've got vetiver, sandalwood, and musk. Just a nice, softer, woodsy base. Now the atomizer is black, but the aperture isn't color, so it is hard to kind of find there. So you have to get your fingers straight and then prime the pump. It's very, it's a very nice light neroli. Uh, fragrance. This is one of those supremely safe fragrances that you smell it, it's nice, it's something that you could spray on, but it's something that very few people around you are going to smell. Like if you're in the fragrance game to garner compliments, you're, if you're in the fragrance game to turn heads and to get people to notice you 
Kenneth Cole Energy is not the fragrance that you're gonna wanna buy. This is for something that you want to spray on and feel clean out of the shower, sit down and read a good book, watch a movie, you know, be with your family. It's nice, it's nice, it's humble. It's very generic, very humdrum, kind of boring. It's not bad, it's not great, it's not anything outstanding. It's also not something that I can necessarily recommend as, because there are other fragrances out there that do this better. I will say the neroli in this is very bright, it's very clean. That's what Energy's got going for it. This is supremely safe. I would say this would make a nice t-shirt and jeans fragrance very casual for just knocking around the house. Even in the high heat, this is gonna probably do okay. Nobody in particular is gonna really be able to smell this on you, so it doesn't really matter in what scenario that you wear it. Supremely safe office scent, and that's pretty much all that I can say about Kenneth Cole's energy. So the next logical fragrance after energy would be intensity, right? So you get your energy up, then you find yourself at a specific level of intensity. So. Although we have taken a look at the bottle, the presentation, they're all three the same, I'll go ahead and take this one out. And if, there, if there's something I see that is different enough to show you a close-up of, I'll do that. No use in dragging it out, right? I really do like the presentation. Super clean, very, very well put together. So you can definitely tell right away the difference between this one is the color of the juice. Everything else remains the same about the presentation. So let's talk a little bit about Intensity's note breakdown. Intensity by Kenneth Cole features top notes of cardamom, pink pepper, and white leather with heart notes of saffron, nutmeg, and tobacco, resting on a base of woods, coffee absolute, and tonka bean. Let's go ahead and test out that juice and see if this one, I can already tell you it's gonna be better than energy, but let's see how good, how much better. Again, presentation is probably the best thing about these. I love these bottles. They feel great in the hand. Very heavy, very heavy bottles. Atomizer is pretty decent. It's got those notes in it that you like about a cooler weather fragrance, but it's definitely something I could see myself wearing this in summertime because it's not heavy. This isn't a very heavy fragrance. There's a little bit of density there, I can tell but uh, in the heat of summer, it's gonna bring out the best qualities and characteristics of the notes in here. Yeah, okay, so I think there's a place for this. Absolutely, there's a place for intensity. It's not gonna be as intense as the name might imply or that you're expecting. I don't feel like this is a super intense fragrance. Safety, softness, security, that's Kenneth Cole. Actually, my favorite scent from Kenneth Cole is called Signature, and it is a banger. Definitely like this better than Energy, so I think this is definitely got some potential for use. The same question that I have for all of them is performance. And next in the line, a logical evolution of the scent profile is gonna be Serenity. Everything exactly the same, so we're not gonna draw that out any. Take this out. And again, man, probably some of my favorite presentations are those round bottles just because they look so good everything's you know feng shui they just have a nice smooth flow and look about them easy on the eyes feels good in the hands now this one looks more like energy in the color almost identical so yeah you can't at all there's not even a <laughs> there's not even a minuscule difference so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the note breakdown of serenity Serenity by Kenneth Cole features top notes of white pepper and whiskey with heart notes of sandalwood, cashmere, and peach, resting on a base of vanilla, tonka bean, and cistus. All right, douse that one pretty good. Right away, you get a little bit of boozy. That white pepper adds some volume when you spray this on a tester strip, so you, you immediately get a little burst of that peppery, boozy, you know, with the whiskey. Peach isn't just a background player, it's actually a prominent note in this. Cashmere wood, of course, giving it that creamy, soft, lightly 
fuzzy, semi-dusty feel. Uh, cashmere wood is a little bit more dusty than it is resinous. They're relying on probably the sandalwood and the cistus to, or, or mostly the cistus, to give it that resinous feel, and that's what I'm sensing in the base too. Yeah, so I do get that peach, I get that cashmere, definitely get the whiskey and the pepper. Pepper is giving it, again, volume. Definitely get the whiskey in the open. And of course, sandalwood, vanilla, are just adding like a sweet, creaminess to it. Kind of smells like peach schnapps. And if that's what they were going for, then they, I think, were successful. Well, that pretty much puts a wrap on my unboxing and first impression of Kenneth Cole's Serenity, Intensity, and Energy. They're three kind of flagship fragrances that they released alongside Kenneth Cole for him back in 2018. They're okay, they're decent, they're safe, they're very designer safe. Uh, there's nothing about them that's going to be challenging, nothing about them is going to be off-putting. I would be interested in what you think about these fragrances. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you happen to have tried any of these or you own any of these. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video, though. I do appreciate your time, and as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with StudioSense, and I'll see you tomorrow.